Hi there, this is Al from GamingGeek.net and today we will we'll be taking a look at God of War, the NTSC U version and we'll try it on the Red Red Pocket 4 Pro using Ether SX2 version 1.4.3060 just check the video description for the um, version number just to be sure I think I think that's correct but I might be wrong now this nobody requested this but um, I'm actually doing this uh, for my uh, personal compatibility list right for um, Ether SX2 and the Retro Pocket 4 Pro this is the most popular one of the most popular PlayStation 2 games of all time and a very popular for franchise uh, until now right so I think my compatibility list needs this game and I'm curious because uh, this is playable on the Retro Pocket 3 Plus but there are dips and you need to use uh, uh, underclocking and you need to play the PAL version so uh, let's see how the Retro Pocket 4 Pro handles the NTSC version uh, before we proceed let's take a look at my performance profiles and Ether SX2 settings so oh man uh, for my um, uh, Retroid profiles it's high performance and smart fan. I always do that for my place. So oh, shoot for my uh, PlayStation 2 tests. Let me just readjust the lighting again There you go. Oh All right, so you can see clearly and in Ether SX2 the settings that work for me uh, Is this you go into general well per game settings in general set optimal settings, right? And then you just skip system, don't need to change anything there. For graphics, change GPU renderer to Vulkan and upscale multiplier to 2x. And then make sure, anytime you use Vulkan, make sure that you enable threaded presentation or it has to be checked, right? Audio, just check uh, interpolation mode, Gaussian, and synchronization mode, time stretch. Because sometimes, I don't know, in the past, like uh, I use optimal and there's nothing set up in audio so right now i've played a little bit of this game and uh at least in my opinion it worked uh pretty well there were some reds here in the numbers in the upper right but nothing really noticeable uh, at least from my perspective right all right well, let's see if in case we need to change the settings um, because in this video I'm gonna get farther than uh, how I than where I was right before recording this video then I'm gonna mention the final settings at the end of the video and I'm gonna place a note in the video description right check the video description if you see me say go to the end of the video for the settings then you know that we changed the settings right? But if you don't see any notes, then what I showed you earlier worked up until the point that I stopped playing this game. Alright. I think this is the third time that I've, I'll be featuring... Yeah, th there's a, a slight uh, graphical issue here. You see that faint line? That happens with some games when you upscale. Um, because of the upscaling, then... It adds some pixels to the edges of the screen. Alright, this is too dark. Alright, maybe this is a little bit better. Alright, so no underclocking, right? Um, I think during gameplay, this is uh, 60 frames per second. And then during... Um, FMVs, it's uh, it drops down to 30 frames per second. Um, but I'm, of course, I'm playing the game, so I don't have my eye on the numbers all the time, right? I usually just base it on feel. Alright. I'm also not, um, uh, um, uh, hard to please when it comes to performance. I'm actually good with 30 frames per second so if ever this dips to 30 frames per second I usually don't notice it
All right. The real test uh, of this game is when we get to the boss, the Hydra. All right, is that too bright? Let me readjust. Oh, I think this is so better. My R2 button. Uh, oh, really? I have to do that? Alright. So my R2 button um, broke. Right, the, the typical Retroid Pocket 4 Pro issue. And Retroid sent me a replacement um, backplate, right, with the R2 button uh, already installed, right? So the, I assume the springs are fixed, but I never used the backplate because I couldn't wait until uh, they actually sent the, send the backplate. So instead, um, I did the popular DIY uh, fix where you use a PlayStation 4 Duo, uh, PlayStation 4, what do you call that? The controller, right? You buy the springs. I wonder if it's uneasy if it's all triangle. It's all triangle. Or maybe it's all triangle for that moment, I don't know. Yeah, and so my R2 button functions, but it feels quite different from how it used to feel uh, before uh, the spring broke. DualShock, is that what uh, you call Sony uh, PlayStation controllers? Yeah, the DualShock 4 spring. Alright, there will be some uh, frame rate dips, but it's very fast. And it didn't bother me. Like if I, um, if I turn the numbers off here at the upper right, I doubt that you'd feel the performance issue. Alright, fine. Don't want to save them. No, I can save you. There, see? That's one moment. I tried this game, uh, the PAL version, on the Retro Pocket 3 Plus and the Anbernic um, RG405M. So, I haven't gotten a, an Anbernic device for quite some time. It's, uh, I wonder when I'm going to get my next Anbernic device. All right, but yeah, look at that. Uh, if I can remember correctly, on the RG four hundred five M, using an old version of Gamma OS, I had issues at, uh, in here, right? Like um, noticeable frame rate dips. But here, look at this: two X resolution, lots of enemies. Oh, I'm not you. A Hydra head. Where's your first hit? Is it going to be there? Oh, there you go. There's a, another frame rate dip. But it's, it's just so very quick. Uh, honestly, you know, like again, I'm very easy to please when it comes to performance. So that doesn't bother me. I'm not going to change my settings um, just because of that. Right. I got some flack from someone earlier for my uh, Shadow of the Colossus video for the Amy and Odin 2. Uh, because I used underclocking because there was a part in the intro that really ran slow. And he's saying, I'm not good at what I'm doing. Alright, and these, these settings are all just, you know, preferential, right? I, I don't claim to be the EtherSX2 expert, right? I'm just sharing what worked for me and what is playable for me.
Right. So you you guys can uh, use your own settings. Uh, after you see mine, you can tweak. Oh man, I need to do better there. This is an easy one. I'm not. I'm so, so afraid of mashing the buttons. There you go. And he spins his head. There's a slight frame rate dip. But he's about to die anyway, so. Alright, give me some red orbs. Okay. Yeah, man. Oh no. Yeah, see, I have a hard time um, mashing the R2 button. And I think um, this is the only part of uh, God of War that I hate. Uh, making you mash the shoulder buttons. That's. I, I hate that part. Alright, we're making. A good progress 11 minutes into the game so far and man the first few times that I've tried this game I don't even bother uh, checking guides right and so I until I'm really stuck and so I waste a lot of time trying to figure out what to do I think that's one thing that I learned right as I have been doing these videos uh, if I'm playing an unfamiliar game, I should at least check a guide. So that it doesn't take me a long time, uh, you know, getting stuck. Because I'm wasting time there. I'm wasting everyone's time. I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting your time. Nah, oh, crud. And uh, there is a point, point in this game where I might have to load the save state. Because the for very first time I tried this game for and sh showed it on the channel, I had trouble with that uh, kick the box uh, sequence. Uh, when we get there, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll point it out. Uh, if you, in case you don't know what the kick the box sequence is, uh, and we're getting very close to it. Man, I got so frustrated. I was like cussing, and uh, really, really, you know. Oh no. Don't die, Kratos. Not yet. No, oh, no. Yeah, I'm a little, in a little bit of a hurry, uh, too, so. Oh, there you go. Who made it? Anything here that we can destroy? It's gonna reward us with orbs? There, see? FMVs, it drops to 30 frames per second. I'm not, the numbers are so small, I'm not sure if you can see it in my video, but I can see it. And this is the kick the box sequence. Um, I call it kick the box sequence because obviously you need to kick a box. So, we'll give it, um, oh man, uh, a few tries, and then if I'm really failing, I'm just going to load that, that's, oh, yeah, 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 all right, this gets me frustrated because your box has a health meter, well, it, has, it, it can get destroyed if it gets hit too many times. With these arrows. Alright, and I think it's you're going to get destroyed soon. There you go. And then you have to go back. And... You know. And some people might have already figured out, you know, the, the optimal way to do this. Um... But man, I, I, the last time I played God of War, this game, oh shoot, is when I tested it on the um, Anvernic RG405M, which is quite some time ago, right? So I'll just load the state. Alright, we're very close now. I hope the box survives. 
they can still hit me from here there see oh f f you guys if you destroy this box all right survive the box trial the kick the box thing and now i'm gonna kick your asses I have two levels of uh, red orb energy. All right, we're making some great progress. By the way, can we level up? Oh, we need some more. All right. The last time I went back here, uh, enemies spawned. Alright, no, no enemies. I guess later when we backtrack. Um, there will be enemies there. Yeah, we'll be backtracking here. Alright, fine. Shoot, come on, let me... Find the key. a quick way to get rid of enemies, right? Oh no. Anything here though. I don't know where the secrets are in this game. Because again, like I, I've only played God of War games uh, as tests for the channel. But uh, like in my own personal time, no, I don't play this. Maybe when I'm done with my backlog. Because uh, there are games that I, I am more interested in. Uh... God of War is definitely something that um, at least the uh, God of War games on PSP and yeah this one too right the uh, God of War on PlayStation 2 I've got my interest uh, in them all right let's not fall This uh, this uh, section in particular, I remember getting stuck here because I couldn't figure out um, where I should be going. I thought it was a dead end. Um, didn't see that rope there. I was like, oh, where should I be going? Should I be walking that across that pole? <laughs> and uh, yeah. So, so the guy uh, who I blocked, by the way, who was complaining about my um, my um, Shadow of the Colossus video, uh, he was claiming that his very first attempt at playing the game, uh, he beat it without losing a life, and I'm like, okay. You're the video game god. Um, I hope it helps you in life, right? I hope you're able to gain money from your uh, video game prowess. Um, I mean, no, I need to play game, the game, like over and over to get better at it. You know, I'm not some sort of gaming prodigy.
I think I'm better than average, but just slightly better than your average gamer, right? Um, definitely not prodigious. And there are some types of games that, um, especially if I'm not that interested in the game. What the heck? Alright, that's hell. It is magic. And I just want to see, is that it? Um, is this a dead end? Yeah, it is a dead end. Okay, 20 minutes in. I just noticed that with God of War games, it's so hard to find a stopping point. Well, I've played three, right? The God of War, and then Ghost of Sparta, and then Chains of Olympus. And it's hard to, like, find a moment to... Stop the episode. Oh. Was this a Hydra? It looks like a Hydra. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Some some people misunderstand um the purpose of my channel uh it's uh let's see can, can i uh am i power not yet all right whatever um they misunderstand my channel right it's really just me um uh, sharing my settings for different games i don't claim to be good at these games but there some people have that expectation which is weird like, I get comments like, you don't know how to play this game, and I'm like, duh, yeah. <laughs> Especially when someone requests, like, a fighting game or something. I think, um, m uh, one of my, uh, Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi videos, they're like, you don't know how to play this game. Oh, especially, especially Grand Theft as um, Gran Turismo 4, right? Man, if, if I earn, like, I, I'm earning from this channel, but, you know, not earning enough that I would quit my job and uh, have time to be, act, be good at these video games, right? So you guys are gonna, you know, pay me then um pay me uh as much as my current job is paying me then yeah um uh, i can try to be better at these video games sure but no i'm just sharing my settings and that i'm not I'm, I'm not even arrogant to say that my settings are the best right um it's just what worked for me and what works for my um preference right like uh, this is good enough for me uh, i'm gonna kill something like see this boss i'm not even sure if, uh, of the optimal way to kill this boss i just you know i'm just gonna mash this button try to block his attacks wait for the Wait for the quick time event. Make sure that uh, I mash the button fast enough. There, see, simple as that. Try to block so I don't fall off the stage. We're almost at the end of this sequence.
nothing against God of War. Like I, I just have a, I just prefer playing something else uh, right now. All right, sing one more, and then we'll we'll be able to actually kill it later. All right. Should I be dodging that? Alright, I think this is what does it. And next time that that happens, we're gonna spike his head. We're gonna drag it so that, you know, I mean, you know what to say, cut off its head, two more take its place, so don't cut off its head, right? Just, you know, turn it into Hydra Shish Kebab. Oh, man. Uh, come on, fall. I think that he's gonna... No? Oh, there you go, see? I hate quick time events. There you go. But I didn't cut off the heads. They exploded. Does that count? Alright, slight uh, frame rate dip there again. If the numbers weren't visible, I doubt that you would notice. Was he a bad guy? Um, all right, the what's coming next is a little bit, you know, unsettling. Uh, I'm not gonna show the nudity. I think everyone knows by by now that there is nudity in this game, and that scene is coming pretty soon. So, I'm not gonna show that. Don't wanna get you know in trouble with YouTube. Oh no. Oh, there you go, finally. So you need to double jump. What is that? Oh, I thought there's a red orb there or something, but... No, and here's where the... Enemies will spawn. And I also don't know like if there's a secret technique to get more orbs from these enemies or if you know if I attack them using this rather than long combos. 
If it's gonna be better, I don't know. Some people are just, you know, on the internet. I'm still not over what that guy um, told me. Maybe I blocked him. He's not going to cause me to lose sleep. But, you know. People on the internet can be really, really mean. Uh, and it's uncalled for, really. I mean, I, I can be mean too. Oh shoot. Where's the freaking box? Well, uh, enemies are dead, I guess, so I can just kick the box. Or I can just uh, drag it, right? That's, that's gonna be slow. Yeah, I question this because Kratos is supposed to be strong, right? Why doesn't he just lift the box over his head? Is this like a... How heavy is this box? I mean, he can kick it and look at the... Look at how far it can go, right? From his kicks, but... Somehow he can kick it that far and uh, he can lift it over his head. Very, very questionable. Alright, unlocking it. Uh, I know that the, the next scene is gruesome. Right, and then after that we're gonna transition over into the, the nudity bit, so... Right, 30 frames per second, no frame rate dips, sliced in half. Slaughtered like animals, the victims lay before him, a reminder of his own past, a past he could never escape. No. His only solace was the sea, endlessly sailing from one harbor. All right, the nudity's coming, so. All right, so. I might have um, started the recording too late, but he didn't miss anything. Anything important. It, it was performing well, so. We know it would happen there, right? And freedom from his growing madness lay before him in the ancient city. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely consider playing this for real. Alright, so yeah, we're skipping that. And we're just trying to get rid of... I don't know where to stop this uh, from here on out, so... Uh, but we're only half an hour into the test, so... We're gonna keep going. No. And this part I don't remember much uh, of, right? I don't know where I'm gonna stop, but uh, we're gonna try to hit. We're definitely gonna hit an hour. Um, but how far past an hour is what? What? Uh, I'm not sure. Of, um, 
Gates of Athens, sorry. Where was I yet? I'm definitely considering uh, playing uh, this game for real. Three hundred four, uh, three hundred twenty-four more uh, to go. All right. I guess there aren't any secrets here. I'm not gonna try try for the secrets, okay? Uh, just trying to get as far into this game as possible, right? And I'm just really butt button masher. Right? Someone's gonna say, You're terrible at the game. Um, yeah, I am terrible. I'm just really playing this to show the settings, right? And how uh, it makes the game perform. Uh, I'm not even sure if anyone wants this uh, test because. This is a game. Uh, where I'm sure a lot of people have already tried on their Redford Pocket 4 Pros. And because it plays uh, decently on the Redford Pocket 3 Plus, then um, people shouldn't have a hard time getting this to run on the Redford Pocket 4 Pro. But just in case there's someone, right, who's either using an older version of Ether SX2 or doesn't really know, Phoenix Feather doesn't really know how this performs um, and is thinking about buying a Redford Pocket 4 Pro um, specifically for this game right then yeah and this is this is for that guy I guess that was a secret um, Phoenix Feather right where are we supposed to go uh, apparently not here. This is where we're, we're going to start fighting minotaurs, I think. Or minotaur-like beings. I think I should save that for later. What are they? Are they Minotaurs, too? No! No! Man, Kratos really doesn't care. Yeah, these are Minotaurs, see? If only the, the you know, the, there were like more than one killing animation per enemy. I would like it, but uh, to be honest, after the first time, after, uh, I guess the, the first few times are okay, but you know, when you've seen it like 30 times, it gets old. There, see, same thing. You're gonna mash your circle button, and I just wish that, hey, can I just kill him? 
fast. Oh, the crud. I hate... Uh, this is another reason why I don't want to uh, play God of War. Because this type of thing, button mashing, see, I'm, I've been very uh, conservative. Um, well, I'm gonna check if there's a... This kind of button mashing uh, is the, a really good way at, of wearing out your face button rubber pads right so these face buttons they have rubber pads underneath and yeah play god of war or any game that you know requires you to mash buttons frequently and your ga your uh, game device is uh, not gonna last long i'm speaking from experience right My first uh, retro handle device was an Anvernic RG35. What was it? 350P. 350P. Right, just, just to be quick about it. Oof. Can I use like uh, lightning for that? Oh crud. Ah oh, man, I fucking hate quick time events. Easiest. Or at least now I know those uh, monsters need quick time events. Okay, where was I? So I had, my first retro handle device was a 350p, and I loved it. But um, I pl I played a button masher, and um, the A button started to stick, right? Because uh, I needed to mash a. Uh, for a game that I was playing a lot. Alright, here's the... Oh! Christ. And yeah, um... I've never been a PlayStation guy. Oh, good. What's this? L3 R3. I forgot the move. Seeker Slip XX. Hades Reverse Tap L1. Or what? Her was fresh. Her was stop. What's in here? Good, more red. Give me a red. I'm pretty sure there are secrets here that I am missing out on. Yes, there has to be a way. Um... And then my second device after the RG35 350P was an RG351V. And um, I had the same problem essentially, uh, where uh, this time it was the D pad uh, 
that had the, the rubber pad wear out uh, the right uh, right on the on the, that D pad started to wear out because I was playing a game uh, that needed me to oh no I hate this part All right, but I need to Yeah, it's so funny how it took me a while to figure this out too All Right again if you know you know but if you don't you don't know what you don't know, right? So... Oh! Christ, alright. I keep, yeah. I remember this, I keep mis misjudging my jump. Maybe I shouldn't jump. Maybe I should just walk or fall. Can I jump like that? Oh no. And so ever since, you know, I had issues with rubber pads wearing out on my retro handle devices I've been avoiding uh, any games that uh, would require me to mash buttons frequently alright cool hmm makes you wonder if there's a secret uh, here somewhere right because it's uh, accessible. There you go. Oh, it looks that. Now that we need magic. Well, this is definitely a Gorgonite. Alright, that one we needed. Okay, going back. I kind of know what to do now. Just make sure I don't overdo this jump. All right. Yeah, I think we're gonna be heading into like so some sort of trial. Yeah. Okay. So remember this game. Oh yeah. Aphrodite. Kratos, the gods are pleased with your progress. We're 48 minutes into this uh, game. Well, video. I offer you the power to freeze your enemies where they stand. Right, so. And you must earn such a oh, man. There you go. That was a little. Oh. Are those boobies? Those like boobies. All right. Cool. Well, that's a monster, right? So. I'm dead. Let's try that again. All right.
How do you beat this? I forgot. It's almost there. Oh, man, I hate those. Mm. Freeze and destroy them all with Medusa's gaze, and the power of the Gorgon will be yours. Jeez, all right. Oh man, I hate these trials. I hate these trials. Like I'm just trying to test performance, guys. No. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. Yeah, if you're like uh, thinking. Alright, there you go. I haven't played this game for months. Right, so. But I did it, right? It didn't get stuck too long, so I think that was acceptable. Alright, let's get some red orbs as reward. I don't know when I'm going to get my next. Alright, let's open it while it's green. Who are these? One thousand two hundred forty four more. Oh, 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 all right, I know what that's for. Um, There is a part of the Retroid uh, Pocket 4 Pro that gets really warm. Phoenix Feather. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen if we... I know definitely... Uh, Oh, 
All right, can I make this jump? How do we get there? Hmm. I don't know how to get there, so rather than um, waste time and try to climb up, um, I'm just gonna stick here, stick with this. Cool. Oh, look. Oh, nice. Is that... Okay. How about the other one? Can't jump. All right. Yep, just smashing buttons. That's weird, look at these, oh. Now this I've never tried. Oh, look at that. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Good thing there's an entrance here. I'm definitely going to want to go for that. Um, but yeah, we're going to save uh, state and not spend too much time on it. I know that this won't open now. Um, the way to open that will be, you know, somewhere ahead of us. So, oh, look at that. All right. Uh, let's take a look at this first. So nothing there. Hmm. Guess jump from the... Oh. Alright, I just did it. Um. I didn't want to bother you guys with... Uh, my many attempts of trying to do it. I just did it. And... Shoot, I think I shouldn't have done that. No, it's okay. I thought I was missing on, out on something, but uh, the chest that I was seeing was actually already open. Alright, so we're already an hour into this. 
Um, but I think this sequence is gonna end soon, so we'll keep uh, further. We'll, we'll proceed further. Yeah, look at that. God of War, right? First one. Alright. Yeah, I feel that we're we're near like the the climax of this section. Uh, I hope I'm right because uh, I don't want to keep at this for more than uh, half an hour, uh, an extra half an hour. Ugh. All right, you know what? There's three of you. Oh, I'm dead. Crap. Alright, trying that again. I think the technique is, you know, get them first before they get you. I mean, obviously, right? But I mean, you know, don't let them get below you. If you can, and if they're below you. Um. Try to get rid of them as fast as you can. Um, that's weird. How did uh, Kratos die from falling? on the roof he didn't really he didn't fall off the roof he fell on the roof right <laughs> oh is this where i'm supposed to go or is this a, a secret area oh yeah all right all right all right yeah this is where i'm supposed to go so if that's where i'm supposed to go then what's in here nothing all right No. Yep. Man, if you're on a Retro Pocket 4 Pro and you're gonna play this game, uh, I, I wish, I hope you're already on your uh, replacement backplate, right? Because if your R2 button is still okay and you have one of the early uh, Retro Pocket 4 Pro, um, devices that were shipped out then playing this game is probably going to mess up your r2 button right and nothing against retroid right it's just um it's a known issue i'm getting a little pissed because um you know dying and then having to re reload from quite a um a bit away, right? Replaying some sections so that we can catch up to where I died. Uh, it's really eating up a lot of time that you guys are not seeing. Uh, I guess the secret is... Oh no. I hate... Like... I'll just kill these guys, right? No more quick time... Quick time stupidity. I guess for the Minotaurs, the faster way is to uh, use the Medusa plan. Right, just use the Medusa glance for Minotaurs, but um, 
he got beat up there so we're gonna grab some health here all right and since I'm getting my my butt handed to me uh, more frequently now uh, I've been you know saving my state all right where should we go Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough magic. All right. What the hell am I doing? Yeah. Oh man, you guys really know how to prolong an episode. All right, and we know what's going to happen, right? There's, there are going to, there are going to be enemies. There you go. Quick job. Why prolong it, right? Just get them off the rope. Oh, they're getting, um, so many of them, all right. Shit, what just, what just happened? Alright, here we are. So I shouldn't have jumped. Alright, can I just drop from here? Yeah, I can. So the only thing, the only reason why I couldn't open that door earlier was because there was no handle on the other side. Okay, well. I think we're pretty close.
it's nice that they allowed uh, the player to do this, right? Because you have a ballista. Um, why not, you know, use a ballista to kill these uh, tough minotaurs? All right, you just miss, miss your chance. But hey, all right. Hmm, are we close to the end? Is this, is, I mean, to the end of this episode? Uh, and when I say the end, I mean, is what's uh, up ahead a good stopping point? Let's see. Because actually, you know, um, including the retries uh, that I didn't record anymore. Uh, this has become quite an ordeal. <laughs> Alright, I think we are close to where I want to end this. Do not fear, Kratos. I am the Oracle of Athens, here to help you defeat them. Well, too bright. The road to Athens. All right, look at that. Is that Ares? I remember there's a sequence in um, did God of War two. Um, I didn't play God of War two for a long time, but. Um, I can remember Kratos being giant size, like, uh, like whoever that is. Mm. Okay, yeah, so I think this is, a, this is definitely a good stopping point for us. Um, so God of War, the first one, the NTSCU version, is very, very playable on the Redford Pocket 4 Pro, right? Um... What else can I say? I mean, uh, we didn't need to change any of the settings that I had uh, at the start of the video. Although I will say that uh, there are a, a few frame rate dips, but nothing, nothing that um, really impacted my gameplay. The only reason why I even noticed those frame rate dips was because I had the. Um, the FPS and the um, game speed here in the upper right but if I had these numbers turned off I probably would not have known that uh, the game dipped so quite playable 2x resolution Vulcan uh, things are all to start uh, I think we've seen enough of this game that uh, I would not expect uh, having the need to change any further settings right but you know in case you play through this uh, game and uh, you get to the end uh, you can comment below and let us know if uh, uh, these settings work for you or if you needed to make changes right um, I'm definitely not gonna play this game until the end anytime soon oh uh, we need to do something here I remember this that's why there's a uh, there's this here it's because we need to come on grab the freaking god damn it oh yeah i remember uh in my uh, previous god of war video i'm pretty sure i got farther than this come on come on come on step on the Damn it. Yeah, that's the reason why uh, this uh, chest keeps replenishing. It's because uh, 
you're supposed to get them step over here, right? It took me a while to figure out, too. Come in. And then you knock me out. And then they step off the platform. Right? Look at that. They step off the platform. And then you'd run out of magic. Things that, you know, uh, are probably fun and challenging when you're not in a hurry, but... Alright, let's just... Oh, no, and then I pressed the wrong button. Alright. Screw you. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Oh, man. He said, screw me? No, screw you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get through this before we end this episode. I'm Kratos. I don't give up. How can your beams of... Damn it, damn it. Alright, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, there you go. And now we don't have any energy anymore. Yep, uh, we're ending this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Once again, I just killed a civilian. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone if you guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, once again, this is Al from GamingGeek.net. Uh, had enough of this game, but, you know, try it out. Talk to you in the next video.